Devaki first adopted the policy of reparation by directly attacking Kamsa for having cruelly, atrociously killed her babies. Then she compromised by saying that this was not his fault. And then she begged for a gift. As we learn from the history of the Mahabharata or Greater India, the wives and daughters of the ruling class, the Kshatriyas, knew the political game. But we find that a woman was given the post of chief executive. Yeah, but uh, in uh, these days, this is totally changed. Now the ladies are reaching on different part of the society and they are achieving the different uh, post in the in, in every in any stream or any department of the governmental and non-governmental of policies. So this is an accordance with the injunction of Manu Samhita. But unfortunately, Manu Samhita is now being insulted. And the Aryans, the members of Vedic society, cannot do anything. Such is the nature of Kali Yuga. Nothing happens unless ordained by destiny. In the manual of other nature of Kali Yuga, here it is mentioned what is the really one of the nature of Kali Yuga. Tasyeva heto prayate kovido nala bete yad brahmatam upari adaha talla bete dukhavat anyataha sukham kalena sarvatra gavira ramhasa Devki knew very well that because the killing of her many children had been ordained by destiny. Kamsa was not to be blamed. There was no need to give good instruction to Kamsa. Upadesho ki murkha naam prakopaya na santai. Chanakya Pandita. If a foolish person is given good, good instructions, he becomes more and more angry. Moreover, a cruel person is more dangerous than a snake. A snake and a cruel person are both cruel. But a cruel person is more dangerous because Although a snake can be charmed by mantras or subdued by herbs, a cruel person cannot be subdued by any means. Such was the nature of Kamsa. Right here, it is. it has been mentioned our human Human, one of the quality. What is the meaning of cruelty? And what is the beauty of cruel person? So don't kill a snake. We no need to kill either the cruel person. Cruel person is also destined same like the good person. It is said over there, Devki just said that whatever happened, 
killing of our many children has been ordained by destiny. So this cruelty also the one of the part of destiny. Each and every one is not cruel. Type of people are cruel. Type of people are foolish. Type of people are some. Many many things are there. There was no need to give instruction of Kamsa. Updose hi murka naam prakopaya nasante. Text six. Nan baham te ayvarja dina hatsuta prabho datu. Datu Marhasi Mandaya Ange Mam Charmam Pajam. My Lord, my brother, I am very poor. Being bereft of all my children, but still I am your younger sister. And therefore, it would be worthy of you to give me this last child as a gift. They will keep praying to Kamsa. Now Sukhdev Goswami is saying in text 7. Shri Sukha Vacha Uf Guyat Maja Vevam Rudatya Din Dinavat Yati Tastam Yati Tastam Bin Nirbhatsya Astada Chichi De Kalaha Sukhdev Goswami continued. Piteously embracing her daughter and crying. Devki begged Kamsa for the child. But it was no cruel that he chastised her and forcibly snatched the child from her hands. Poor bird. Although Devaki was crying like a very poor woman, actually, she was not poor. And therefore, the word used here is Dina. She had already given birth to Krishna. Therefore, who could have been richer than she? Even the demigods had come to offer prayers to Devki. But she played the part of a poor. Piteously affected women because she wanted to save the daughter of Yashoda. Text 8. Tam Grihitva Charnayor Jat Matra Swasusutam Apoth Yat Chila Priste Swarthon Muli Sohida Devki want to save the daughter of Yashoda. Having uprooted all relationships with his sister because of intense selfishness, Kamsa was sitting on his knees, grasped the newborn child by the legs and tried to dash her against the surface of a stone. Text 9. Sa Tadastat Samut Patya Sadyo Dev Gambramgatam Adri Sitanuja Vishnu Shayudhast Mahabuja. Translation. The child Yoga Maya Devi, the younger sister of Lord Vishnu, slipped upward from Kamsa's hands and appeared in the sky as a Devi, the goddess Durga, with eight arms. Completely equipped with weapons. Text 
purpose. Kamsa tried to dash the child downward against a piece of stone. But since she was Yogamaya, the younger sister of Lord Vishnu, she slipped upward and assumed the form of the goddess Durga. Here we can little bit understand the Shakti, the power, energy of Yoga Maya. Anything in this material world, these are my words, as much I can understand. Means we cannot try to fight with Yoga Maya or the suppress. Here we can see that Yoga Maya, when it tried, comes a try to dash the child downwards, it slipped from upwards. Even the Kamsa was a powerful person, he killed many child, many children. This is a small girl child, but also nothing for her. But Here Krishna wanted to show the power of Yoga Maya. Instead of going down, dashing downwards, he slipped from his hand to upwards. The goddess Durga with eight arms completely equipped with weapons. Purple. Kamsa tried to dash the child downward against a piece of stone, but since she was Yoga Maya, the younger sister of Lord Vishnu, she slipped upward and assumed the form of the goddess Durga. Here in Sanskrit, the word Anuja means the younger sister. It's Significant. When Vishnu or Krishna took birth from Devaki, he must have simultaneously taken birth from Yashoda also. Otherwise, how could Yogamayas have been Anuja, the Lord's younger sister? <coughs> Text 10 11. Divya Stragambral in Apranath Baran Bhushita Danush Sule Shu Charma Shishank Chakra Gadadra Siddha Charan Gandhara of Sarak in Naro Rogai Upaharto Rubla Bilibi Stimane the Matui The goddess Durga was decorated with flower garlands smeared with sandalwood pulp and dressed with excellent garments and ornaments made of valuable jewels. Holding in her hands a bow, a trident, arrows, a shield, a sword, a conch shell, a disc and a club. And being praised by celestial beings like Apsaras, Kinnaras, Urgas, Siddhas, Charanas, and Gadharvas, who worshipped her with all kinds of presentations. She spoke as follows. 
हत्या मंद जाता है कलु तवान पूर्व शत्रु माम नव योग माया से हो कमसा यू फूल वट विल बी दूज ऑफ फिलिंग मी द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड हु हैज बीन योर एन एम मी फ्रॉम दैट वेरी बिगनिंग and who will certainly kill you has already taken his birth somewhere else therefore do not unnecessarily kill other children text 13 kiti prabhasyatam devi maya bhagavati bhuvi बहुनाम निकेतु बहुनामा बहु आफ्टर स्पीकिंग टू कंसा इन दिस वे द गॉड इज दुर्गा योग माया अपियर इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस सच एज वाराणसी एंड बिकम सेलिब्रेटेड बाय डिफरेंट नेम्स सच एज अन्नपूर्णा दुर्गा काली एंड भद्रा Purport. The goddess Durga is celebrated in Calcutta as Kali. In Bombay as Mumba Devi. In Varanasi as Annapurna. In Katak as Bhadra Kali. And in Ahmedabad as Bhadra. thus in different places she is known by different names her devotees are known as shaktas or worshippers of the energy of the supreme personality of godhead whereas worshippers of the supreme personality of godhead himself are called vaishnava Vaishnavas are destined to return home, back to Godhead. In the spiritual world, whereas the saktas are destined to live within this material world to enjoy different types of material happiness. In the material world. the living entity must accept different types of body brahman sarva bhutani yantra rudhani maya according to the living entity desire yoga maya or maya the goddess durga gives him a particular type of body which is mentioned as yantra a machine but the living entities who are promoted to the spiritual world do not return to the prison house of a material body tatva deham punarjanma naiti mam iti sorjuna the word janma na eti indicates that these living entities remains in their original spiritual bodies to enjoy the company of the supreme personality of godhead in the transcendental abodes vaikuntha and vrindavan कंस परम विस्मित देव किम वसुदेव च 
మేము చెప్పుతో అభివృద్ధి సారీ సచినందన ప్రభు సారీ కెన్ యూ సే సంథింగ్ మోర్ అబౌట్ ఒరిజినల్ స్పిరిచువల్ బాడీ ఆన్ ది ప్రెసిడెంట్ బట్స్ the last words say uh this this kind of people vaisnava remain in their original spiritual body yeah the word janmana et indicate that these living entities remain in their original spiritual bodies means in their swarup to enjoy the company of the supreme personality of godhead in the transcendental abodes in golok vrindavan so this body is not our original this body is material but the what is hidden and that what is possible by the some different efforts of our awakening of the swarupa to become the one pointed not sanchari bhav is staying in a sthai bhav when we practice then we can we can we are slowly we are able to see our original spiritual body we are doing a spiritual practice with this material body that is helpful with the help of this material body when we practice our spiritual world then slowly we are near to understand with the help of our spiritual master whatever the indication and instructions given by them given by him according to the pranali what is the swarup has been given at the time of diksha so when we start our practice after that with the help of this material body slowly we reach to the to understand what is our real form where we are situated where is our position so this is the meaning of as per, as much and more gurudev can say bro what selling that the, the word in the shloka janma eti the words janma na eti indicate that these living entities remain in their original spiritual bodies to enjoy the company of the supreme personality of godhead in the transcendental states as transcendental abodes vaikuntha and vrindavana i was there in that as per their desire the side said that what gurudev gives where is their mood which type of mood and by the practicing accordingly with this mood knowingly very well by the spiritual master that what is the mood one's have is or her when the spiritual master give spiritual master gives this uh, post this place to them to practice to go further 
to develop them in the spiritual world. Text 14. Taya bhit karmanyam kansa param vismita dev kim basudevam cha bimuchya prasuto abravit. After hearing the words of the goddess Durga, Kamsa was struck with wonder. Thus, he approached his sister Devaki and brother in law Vasudeva, released them immediately from their shackles, and very happily spoke as follows. Kamsa was astonished because the goddess Durga had become the daughter of Devaki. Since Devaki was a human being, how could the goddess Durga become her daughter? Astonishment. Also, Kamsa was astonished because the goddess Durga had become the daughter of Dev Devaki. Since Devaki was a human being, yeah. how could the goddess Durga become the daughter? This was one cause of his astonishment. Also, how is it that the eighth child of Devaki was a female? This also astonished him. Asuras are generally devotees of Mother Durga, Shakti or demigods, especially Lord Shiva. The appearance of Durga in her original eight armed feature, holding various weapons, immediately changed Kamsa's mind about Devgi's being an ordinary human. It happens in the mind of Kamsa only because of the illusion. He couldn't think that Devgi is not an ordinary human being. Devaki must have had some transcendental qualities. Otherwise, why would the goddess Durga have taken birth from her womb? <clears throat> Under the circumstances, Kamsa is struck with wonder, wanted to compensate for his atrocities against his sister. Devaki. Demonic mind peoples are very smart. So they watch the circumstances and then they change their ideas. And this is. Text 15. Aho bhaginyo bhammaya bhambat papmana purshat iva patyam bhavo. In Sita Sutta. Alas, my sister. Alas, my brother in law. I am indeed so sinful that exactly like a man, eater, who eats his own child, I have killed so many sons born of you. Corporate. Rakshasas are understood to be accustomed to eating their own sons. As snakes and many other animals sometimes they do. At the present moment in Kali Yuga, Rakshasas fathers and mothers are killing their own children in the womb. And some are even eating the fetus with great relish. Thus, 
the so called civilization is gradually advancing by pro producing rakshasas in the society like so called white collar very highly scholar people they are eating meats meaning to say over here meat eater how much they are liking to eat meat and other things there are some creams on the market they are called placenta bags what is that this is from placenta the, bags yeah. from the uh, uh, from the uterus of the ladies mm -hmm. they cream their face with this to become much younger what is that <laughs> placenta bag cream for the skin yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's, that's happened in a human society. This is the features of Kaliuga here. Also. Yeah. See, see, it's it's advanced. 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 Yeah, very civilized. <laughs> Text 16. Ah, Text 16. Thus, the so called civilization is gradually advancing. The producing I see also in the fridge. It's it's more but you know, check it down. Big merciless and cruel. You see? I have forsaken one more. All my relatives. Well, this is maybe for good. One more. 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 Being merciless and cruel, I have forsaken all my relatives and friends. Therefore, like a person who has killed a Brahmana, I do not know to which planet I shall go, either after death or while breathing. Devamapanitam bhakti namartya ev kevalam. Alas, not only human beings, but sometimes even providence lies. And I am so sinful that I believe. The omen of providence and killed so many of my sister's children. Text 18. Ma sho chitam ma bhaga vat majan swa kritam bhuja jantavona sadekatra deva dhinas daste. O oh, great souls, your children have suffered their own misfortune. Therefore, please do not lament for them. All living entities are under the control of the Supreme and they cannot always live together. Kamsa addressed his sister and brother-in-law as Mahabhago because 
although he killed their ordinary children, the goddess Durga took birth from them. Because Devaki bore Durga Devi in her womb, Kamsa praised both Devaki and her husband. Asuras are very devoted to the goddess Durga, Kali and so forth. Kamsa therefore truly astonished, appreciated the exalted position of his sister and brother-in-law. Durga is certainly not under the laws of nature because she herself is the controller of the laws of nature. Ordinary living beings, however, are controlled by these laws. Ordinary living beings, however, are controlled by these laws. Consequently, none of us are allowed to live together for any long period. By speaking this way, Kamsa tried to pacify his sister and brother-in-law. Bhuvi bhomani bhutani yatha yantya payanti cha nai matma satay teshu vi pariyeti yathay bhu In this world, we can see that plot, pots. In this world, we can see that pots dolls and other products of the art appear, break and then disappear, mixing with the earth. In this world, we can see that pots, dolls and other products of the earth appear, break and then disappear, mixing with the earth. Similarly, the bodies of all conditioned, conditioned living entities are annihilated, but the living entities like the earth itself are unchanging and never annihilated. Although Kamsa is described as a demon, he had good knowledge of the affairs of Atma Tattva. Wow. The truth of the self. 5,000 years ago, there were kings like Kamsa. who is described as an Asura. But he was better than modern politicians and diplomats who have a knowledge, who have no knowledge about Atma Tattva. As stated in the Vedas, Asango hai am Purusha. The spirit soul has no connection with the changes of the material body. The body undergoes six changes. Birth, growth, sustenance, byproducts, dwindling, and then annihilation. But the soul undergoes no such changes. Even after the annihilation of a particular bodily form, the original source of the bodily elements does not change. 
the living entity enjoys the material body which appears and disappears but the five elements earth water fire air and ether remain the same the example given here is that pots and dolls are produced from the earth and when broken or destroyed they mingle with their original ingredients in any case <clears throat> the source of supply remains the same as already discussed the body is made according to the desires of the soul the soul desires and thus the body is formed krishna therefore says in bhagavad gita ishwara sarva bhutanam hrde desa arjuna sthiti brahma yan sarva bhava bhutani yantra ruddhani mayaya the supreme lord is situated in everyone's heart o arjuna and is directing the wanderings of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of the material energy neither the super soul parmatma not the individual soul changes its original spiritual identity can you read this again yes. the supreme lord is situated in everyone's heart o arjuna and is directing the wanderings of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of the material energy neither the super soul parmatma nor the individual soul changes its original spiritual identity the atma does not undergo birth death or changes like the body therefore a vedic aphorism says asango hai ayam purusha although the soul soul is conditioned within this material world he has no connections with the changes of the material body yatha nevam vido bhedo यत आत्म विपर्य देह योग वियोगो चीण निवर्त वन हु डज नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन ऑफ द बॉडी एंड द सोल बिकम्स टू अटैच टू द बॉडली कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ consequently because of attachment to the body and its by products he feels affected by union with the separation from his family society and nations as long as this continues one continues his material life otherwise one is liberated एस कन्फर्म इन श्रीमद भागवतम स वै पुन संपरो धर्मो यथो भक्तिर्धोक्षे अहेतुके अप्रदेयता ये आत्मा संप्रासीदति द वर्ड धर्म मीन्स एंगेजमेंट वन हु इज एंगेज इन द सर्विस ऑफ द लॉर्ड यथो भक्तिर्धोक्षे 
without impediment and without cessation is understood to be situated in his original spiritual status when one is promoted to this status one is always happy in transcendental bliss wow again the word dharma means engagement one who is engaged in the service of the lord without impediment and without cessation is understood to be situated in his original spiritual status when one is promoted to this status one is always happy in transcendental bliss otherwise as long as one is in the bodily concept of life one must suffer material conditions जन्म मृत्यु जरा व्याधि दुख दोषानुदर्शन इज सब्जेक्ट टू इट्स ओन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ बर्थ डेथ ओल्ड एज एंड डिजीज बट वन हु इज सिचुएटेड इन स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ ये तो भक्ति हैज नो बर्थ no death no old age and no disease one may argue that we may see a person who is spiritually engaged 24 hours a day but is still suffering from disease in fact however is neither suffering nor diseased <laughs> otherwise he could not be engaged 24 hours a day in spiritual activities wow the example may be given in this connection that sometimes dirty foam or garbage is seen floating on the water of the ganges this is called nira dharma a function of the water but one who goes to the ganga goes to the ganges does not mind the foam and dirty things floating in the water yeah with his hand he pushes away such nasty things baths in the ganges and gains the beneficial results therefore one who is situated in the spiritual status of life is unaffected by foam and garbage or any superficial dirty things this is confirmed by sri la rupa goswami ah iha ayasya hare dasse karmana manasa gira nikila swa apyavastha su etvam mukta sa uchyate a person acting in the service of krishna's krishna with his body mind and words is a liberated person even within the material world bhakti rasamrit sindhu 1217 a person acting in the service of krishna with his body mind and words is a liberated person even within the material world therefore one is forbidden to regard the guru as an ordinary human being guru sunara matir narakisa therefore one is forbidden to regard the guru as an ordinary human being the spiritual master or acharya is always situated in the spiritual status of life birth 
death, old age and disease do not affect him. According to the Hare Bhakti Vilas, therefore, after the disappearance of an Acharya, his body is never burnt to ashes. For it is a spiritual body. The spiritual body is always unaffected by material conditions. Asmad Bhadre Sotanyan Maya Vyapadi Tanapi Manusochita Sarva Swakritam Bindate Vasaha. My dear sister Kamsa is saying, My dear sister Devaki, all good fortune unto you. Everyone suffers and enjoys the result of his own work under the control of providence. Therefore, although your sons have unfortunately been killed by me, please do not lament for them. Because now the Kamsa become Tattva Vetta. Purport. Everyone, beginning from the small insect known as Indra, Gopa, up to Indra, the king of heavenly planets is obliged to undergo the results of his fruitive activities. Everyone, beginning from the small insect known as Indra Gopa up to the Indra, the king of heavenly planets, is obliged to undergo the results of his fruitive activities. Pious Karmas. We may superficially see that one is suffering or enjoying because of some external causes. But the real cause is one's own fruitive activities. Even when someone kills someone else, it is to be understood that the person who was killed met the fruitive results of his own work and that the man who killed him acted as the agent of material nature. Thus, Kamsa begged Devaki's pardon by analyzing the matter deeply. He was not the cause of the death of Devaki's son. Rather, this was their own destiny. <clears throat> Under the circumstances, Devaki should excuse Kamsa and forget his past. Kamsa and forget his past deeds without lamentation. Kamsa admitted his own fault, but whatever he had done was under the control of providence. Kamsa might have been the immediate cause for the death of Devaki's sons, but the remote cause was their past deeds. This was an actual fact. In the bodily conceptions of life, one remains in darkness. Without self-realization, thinking, I am being killed or I have killed by enemies. As long as a foolish person thus considers the self to be the killer or the killed, he continues to be responsible for material 
obligations. And consequently, we suffer the reactions of happiness and distress. Once more, in the bodily conception of life, one remains in darkness without self-realization. Thinking, I am being killed or I have been killed by enemies. As long as a foolish person thus considers the self to be the killer or the killed, he continues to be responsible for material obligations and subsequently he suffers the reactions of happiness and distress. Purple. By the grace of the Lord comes a felt sincere regret for having unnecessarily persecuted such Vaishnavas as Devaki and Vasudeva. And thus became to the transcendental stage of knowledge. Because I am situated on the platform of knowledge, Kamsa said, understanding that I am not all the killer of your sons, I have no responsibility for their death. As long as I thought that I would be killed by your sons. I was in ignorance, but now I am free from this ignorance, which was due to a bodily conception of life. As is stated in Bhagavad Gita, Yasya Nahankruto Bhavo Buddhir Yasya Nalipyate Atvapvisa Imal Lokan Nahantina Nibhadyate one who is not motivated by false ego, whose intelligence is not entangled, though he kills men in this world, is not the slayer, nor is he bound by his actions. According to this axiomatic truth, comes up pleaded. <coughs> that he was not responsible for having killed the sons of Devaki and Vasudeva. Please try to excuse me for such false external activities, he said, and be pacified with this same knowledge. Jai Jai Shri Ram Jai Jai Shri Ram